Education Galaxy presents Multiplication. Meet Multiplication Matthew. He loves to sing songs about multiplication. Multiplication Matthew's first song tonight will be Multiply by Zero. It was inspired by the mathematical fact that any time you multiply a number by zero, it results in a zero. Hit it, Matthew! This rap is very vital to learn to multiply, though. So learn this beat and stay on fleek. Just multiply and be so fly. Let's multiply by zero. Zero times a number always equals zero. You'll ace your test, impress, confess that when you multiply, you find that zero times a number always equals zero. Pop quiz! Zero times three is zero threes. That means it's just zero. Remember, anything times zero is zero. So zero times six, zero. Zero times four, zero. Multiplication Matthew's second song tonight will be multiplied by one. He found it fascinating that any number multiplied by one will result in that very same number. So don't put your times on the shelf when one times a number is always itself. Any number times one equals that same number. Any number times one equals that same number. Here's another pop quiz. One times one, so that means I have one one, that equals one. One times five means I have one five, that equals five. Remember, anything times one equals that number. So one times eight, that must equal eight. Next will be Matthew's favorite song, Multiply by Two. He loves multiplying by two because it's just the number plus itself, which is just doubling the number. There's a trick that's perfect, it'll be your guide. Don't make a blunder, double the number. Double the number. Let's try again. Let's see, two times two would mean it's two groups of two, which is Two plus two, so we're just doubling two, we get four. Two times eight would be two groups of eight, so that's just doubling eight, which is eight plus eight, that's 16. And this last one, two times nine, that's two groups of nine, and nine plus nine is 18. Matthew's next song is really special to him. When you multiply by five, every answer ends in zero or five. Five times three is 15. Five times four is 20. When your teachers say pay attention, please pick up Ed Gal's frequency. Pop quiz time. All right, I love the five times tables because it's just like the clock. So let's see, five times one, well, that's just one five. And on the clock, the one represents five. So five times one is five. Five times eight, well, the eight on the clock represents 40. So five times eight is 40. Five times 10, well, the 10 on the clock represents 50. So five times 10 is 50. Awesome. Matthew's last song is called Multiply by 10. He would like to dedicate this song to his mom, who taught him that multiplying by 10 moves that number one place value to the left. For example, if you're trying to solve 3 times 10, you move the 3 to the tens place. And since we don't have any ones left, we put a 0 in the ones place. So 3 times 10 equals 30. Monday, not your fave day, but when you're walking down the hallway, remember, Friday's not far away. But till then, multiply by 10. What's that mean to an alien? There's a trend when you multiply by 10. Just add zero to the end. Wednesday, Friday, not far away. Hoping then you'll have a party. Your teachers say, let's find third day. It's our last pop quiz. Awesome. We can do this. First one says 10 times 6. Well, when I'm multiplying by 10, I want to move it to the tens place. So the 6 will move to the tens place, and it'll be 60. So 6 times 10 is 60. 10 times 7, I move the 7 to the tens place, so it's 70. 10 times 7 is 70. 
and 10 times 4, if I move the 4 to the tens place, 10 times 4 is 40. That's the end of our show. Have a great day.